Harry Kane seeks Bayern Munich's brilliance after the comical defeat against Lazio in the Champions League. Harry Kane admitted Bayern Munich are going through a difficult period and urged his teammates to fight back after a 1-0 defeat to Lazio in the Champions League round of 16 on Wednesday night. After a comprehensive 3-0 loss to Bundesliga leaders Bayer Leverkusen on Saturday, which left the champions five points off the pace in the title race, Bayern failed to stage a comeback in Rome, with Ciro Immobile's second-half penalty proving the difference in the match. Going. It was another toothless display from the Bavarians, as the visitors did not have a single shot on target, ultimately increasing the pressure on manager Thomas Tuchel. Kane told TNT Sports, we are in a difficult period. We have to fight. We have to change things. We have big matches and big things to fight for. We are not out of the woods, and we will never give up. We just need to turn things around. One match or one spark can change things. Tuchel was less complimentary of his team's performance and called for major improvements. In the first half, we had to take the lead. We had three clear chances. We have to do these things, Tuchel said, adding that the second half was characterized by uncertainty again. It was a bit slapstick. Bayern suffered a devastating blow due to the expulsion of Dayat Upamecano, who received a red card after colliding with Gustav Isaacson inside the penalty area. Immobile stepped up to score the resulting penalty. We made a lot of individual mistakes and received a penalty kick and a red card for nothing at all, Tuchel said. He added, with the performance, we did everything we could to lose this match that was entirely in our hands. Immobile's goal came days after he scored his 200th goal in the Italian league and allowed the raucous Lazio fans to dream of qualifying for the quarterfinals for the first time in the most important tournament in Europe in 24 years. We prepared for this match so that we could give Bayern a game. Even if we had only had a 10% chance, the team would have given everything on the pitch, Immobile told Amazon Prime Video. We wanted to give our fans a good night and I think we did that. Bayern Munich were in front for most of the opening period, which was short on clear-cut chances and only saw one shot on target. That effort was a weak header from Alessio Romagnoli for the hosts, who were lucky to go into the second half when Jamal Musiala fired just over the bar after a smooth passing move on the edge of the Lazio area. Kane shot over the bar from close range early on, while in the 32nd minute Leroy Sane saw his powerful shot fly wide after a brilliant free kick. But just after the break, Bayern had Manuel Neuer to thank after he lunged in to stop Gustav Isaacson from giving Lazio the lead after a brilliant pass from Luis Alberto. After a long period of ineffective Bayern possession, Immobile punished the visitors with his 20th goal of the season, which Isaacson won when he fouled up a Meccano. Bayern were left a goal and a man down and from that point on had a harder time threatening the team's well-organized defense, allowing Lazio to hold on for a famous win. Paris Saint-Germain takes control of Sociedad. Kylian Mbappe and Bradley Barcola scored two goals in the second half to give Paris Saint-Germain a difficult 2-0 win over its guest Real Sociedad in the first leg of the Champions League round of 16. The Basque team, which arrived at the Parc de Princes unbeaten in this season's competition after topping Group D, was the better team until Mbappe fired a direct shot after colliding with a Marquinhos corner to give Paris Saint-Germain the lead in the 58th minute. Paris Saint-Germain dominated the game and in the 70th minute, Barcola increased their lead when he passed the ball between the legs of goalkeeper Alex Romero. We suffered a lot in the first half, Paris Saint-Germain captain Marquinhos told Canal Plus. We talked to each other in the first half and the coach, Luis Enrique, put pressure on us. He was really upset. Our behavior was much better in the second half. He, Luis Enrique, always tells us the truth, and that is very important for the team. He gave us some advice, and that worked well in the second half. The first part of our goal was achieved. It's important to win at home. Paris Saint-Germain were fortunate to go into the match scoreless at halftime as Real Sociedad captain Mikel Moreno unleashed a thunderous shot that bounced off the crossbar just before halftime. Mbappe, who missed his club's previous match due to an ankle injury, took advantage of Sociedad's temporary reduction to 10 players after defender Hamari Traore was on the bench to receive medical treatment. 
Barcola increased Paris Saint-Germain's lead in the 70th minute with a wonderful individual goal when he ran from the halfway line to score a wonderful goal. Paris Saint-Germain had more chances to score, but the visiting team held on and will have a difficult task to overcome a two-goal deficit in the return match in Spain on March 5.